हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट वेलकम वंस अगेन द कोर्स नंबर वन इलेक्ट्रोडायनामिक्स इन एमएससी फर्स्ट ईयर फिजिक्स इन प्रीवियस टू वीडियो वी विल स्टार्ट द रिफ्लेक्शन रिफ्रैक्शन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक प्लेन वेव इन ए प्लेन बाउंड्रीज ओके इन टू प्रीवियस टू वीडियो वी विल स्टार्ट वी विल कंप्लीट द दट इज द इंट्रोडक्टरी पार्ट विद विद इन द बाउंड्री कंडीशन देन नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी विल कंप्लीट द फर्स्ट केस नंबर वन एंड वी फाइंड द ई नॉट ई वन बार ई नॉट बार ई वन बार एंड ई टू बार इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस द नेक्स्ट केस नेक्स्ट केस दैट इज अ परपेंडिकुलर एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड एच नॉट एच वन एंड एच टू लेट सी द केस नंबर टू बट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल Let's see the that two equation. That is, uh, these two are the boundary condition equation number eight and equation number nine. Equation number eight are n cross e naught plus e naught bar plus e one bar is equal to n cap n cap cross e two bar. And next equation nine one is, nine is the n cap into h naught plus h one is equal to n cap into h two bar. Equation eight and nine these are the two are the boundary condition. In that next case second, let's see the figure. that in case 1 that in that point this is the e not and in that point it is the h not but in that case this is the magnetic polarization let's see the figure or that explanation now consider the case where h not is normal to the plane of incidence okay in, pre, in case 1 e not is the normal to the plane of incident in case 1 in case second h not is the normal to the plane of incident that is magnetic polarization in this case magnetic vector r of the reflected and transmitted wave parallel to each parallel to h not and the perpendicular to the plane of incident parallel in case first it is parallel to the e not and perpendicular to the plane of incidence in the polarization magnetic vector has component only along the z direction whereas the electric vector shows the xy direction as shown in figure completely opposite to the case number 1 these are the this magnetic vector components only z direction in case 1 that is the magnet electrical vector have component only z direction and whereas both in case first magnetic vector show the xy direction but in that case this magnetic vector have a components only along z direction whereas the electric vector shows both x and y direction these are the ins these are the incident wave this transmitted and these are the reflected waves using boundary condition let's see using boundary condition that two equation number 8 and 9 and the and it can be shown that okay in case 1 we have to step wise solve it but we write as a these terms as it is okay we write in previous video we will show this equation e not minus even is equal to q2 mu1 cos theta2 divided by q not mu2 cos theta not e2 we have to obtain this equation by using the value of h not h1 and h2 this explanation or this calculation do not repeat in that case second let's see only changes that similarly we write as a in previous video we how to show the equation e not plus even is equal to e2 but in that case using boundary condition this equation 8 and 9 as shown it can be shown that the equation h not plus h1 let's see the second last equation h not plus h1 is equal to h2 and this h not minus h1 this we can obtain the in previous video e not minus even this equation is similar to that e h not minus h1 only normal change as there this e not minus e1 is q2 mu1 cos theta2 divided by q not mu2 cos theta not e2 in the same similarly this h not minus h1 is equal to k not mu2 only this only this factor q not mu2 and q2 interchange with each other they interchange that means this will be the transfer numerator and this will be transfer denominator that's why this k not mu2 cos theta2 this cos theta2 cos theta not as it is only this will be changed k not mu2 divided by k2 mu1 cos theta2 divided by cos theta not h2 this that calculations will be neglected that step will be neglected that by using vector identity this step will be neglected as it is by using that equation we write as h not minus h1 only this this k2 q1 k2 
के टू म्यू वन डिवाइडेड बाई के नॉट म्यू टू विल बी इंटरचेंज दैट देन रिमेनिंग टर्म एज इट इज एंड ई नॉट ई वन ई टू इज रिप्लेस बाय एच नॉट एच वन एंड एच टू वी राइट एज एच नॉट माइनस एच वन के नॉट म्यू टू कॉस थीटा टू डिवाइडेड बाय के टू म्यू वन कॉस थीटा नॉट एच टू देन सॉल्विंग अबाउट टू इक्वेशन दैट इक्वेशन एच नॉट प्लस एच वन दैट मीन्स सॉल्विंग मीस वी एड दिस टू इक्वेशन एच नॉट प्लस एच वन इज इक्वल टू एच टू एच नॉट माइनस एच वन ऑफ दिस दैट मीन्स सॉल्विंग दैट टू इक्वेशन दैट मीन्स एडिंग दैट टू इक्वेशन दैट्स वाई प्लस एच वन दिस प्लस एच वन एंड माइनस एच वन गेट कैंसल रिमेनिंग टू एच नॉट राइट सॉल्विंग दैट मीन्स एडिंग टू इक्वेशन टू एच नॉट एंड वी राइट एज ए एच टू प्लस दिस टू टर्म्स दैट टर्म K not mu two cos theta two divided by K two mu one cos theta not h two and we write as a two h not is equal to h two plus K not mu two cos theta two divided by K two mu one cos theta not h two. Okay, then we in next step we take as a LCM. LCM is K two mu one cos theta. Two. That's why in that term will multiply in h two and that K two mu one cos theta not h two. Plus k not mu two cos theta two h two. This term as it is whole divided by k two mu one cos theta not. We can take the LCM of LCM. Then this two it will be the multiply transform in that side. It will be the divide and we write as a numerator as it is k two mu one cos theta not h two plus k not mu two cos theta two h two divided by two k two mu one cos theta not. In next step in numerator. V common H two will be common, and that H not is equal to Q two mu one cos theta not plus K not mu two cos theta two bracket complete H two divided by two K two mu one cos theta not. Okay, but we calculate the value of H two. We calculate this will be the H two. Then this term multiply in H not, and this term in numerator transform in that side. It will be the divide, and We have to find. We have to obtain the value of H two, and H two is equal to two k two mu one cos theta not divided by two k two mu one cos theta not plus k not mu two cos theta two into H not. Equation number fifty. These are the value of uh, or equation for the H two. Then using equation fifteen. By using this equation fifteen, in equation H not plus H one is equal to H two. That means we have to H two is replaced by this equation. That means H two is equal to we write as a this, and that's why H not plus H one is equal to two k two mu one cos theta not divided by k two mu one cos theta not plus k not mu two cos theta two into H two. This H not will transform in that side. It will be the minus and. Let's see the last equation. H one is equal to two k two mu one cos theta naught divided by k two mu one cos theta naught plus k naught mu two cos theta two h naught minus h. In next step, h naught will be common, and write h one is equal to that. H one is equal to two k two cos theta naught divided by k two mu one cos theta naught plus k naught mu two cos theta two minus one h naught will be common. Then In bracket, we have to solve that bracket. This term will multiply in that minus one. That's why this this sign will be changed. This plus minus and this plus will be minus. This term as it is two k two mu one cos theta not minus k two mu one because this term will multiply by minus one k two mu one cos theta not minus k not mu two cos theta two divided by this will term as it is. That means taking LCM k two mu one cos theta not plus k not mu two cos theta two. These are the LCM and In bracket complete H not. Then we see that this term k two mu one cos theta not k two mu one cos theta not. This coefficient to two and this coefficient to one. Two minus one one. Remaining term are k two mu one cos plus k two mu one cos theta minus k not mu two cos theta two as it is and divided by this term as it is k two mu one cos theta not plus k not mu two cos theta two bracket complete H not. This is equation number sixteen. We As this is the equation sixteen, the equation for H one and equation fifty is equation for H two. Then next step, when the angle of incidence theta not is equal to zero, this that means this angle of incidence angle of incidence is zero, both polarization becomes the same and the amplitude of transmitted and reflected wave reduces to. Wave means angle of Incidence will be zero. That's why all angles will be angle of reflection, angle of transmission will be zero or reduces 
reduce or reduce that means it will be the all zero and that that's why theta not is equal to zero theta one is equal to zero theta two is equal to zero that's why this equation in the value of e2 and that e2 and e1 we have to find in next video and that's equation are these equation 13 and 14 we have to put theta not is equal to 0 theta 1 is equal to 0 and theta 2 is equal to 0 then equation reduces to that e2 bar is equal to that theta not 0 cos 0 1 cos 0 1 cos 0 1 remaining term are 2 k not mu 2 2 k not mu 2 k not mu 2 plus k2 mu 1 k2 mu 1 into e not as it is then e1 this total cos theta not 0 cos theta 2 0 that's why k not mu 2 minus k2 mu 1 k not mu 2 minus k2 mu 1 divided by k not mu 1 plus k2 mu 1 k not mu 2 plus k2 mu 1 into e not as it is and we put theta not theta 2 will be 0 in equation 15 that's why this h2 2 k2 mu 1 divided by this 2 k2 mu 1 divided by k2 mu 1 k not mu 2 k not mu 2 q2 n into into h not this h not we put theta is equal to 0 angle of incident will be 0 theta 2 will be 0 transmission angle of transmission will be 0 and h1 is h1 is that this will be cos 0 1 cos 0 1 total multiply by 1 that's why remaining term k2 mu 1 minus k not mu 2 divided by q2 k2 mu 2 plus k not mu 2 this term into h not these are the equation 17 18 19 and 20 in next we have to find the fresnel's reflection coefficient given by fresnel's reflection coefficient is given by r12 is equal to e1 bar divided by e2 bar e1 bar is the this term k not mu 2 minus k2 mu 1 divided by k not mu 2 plus k2 mu 1 into e naught and these are the divided e naught e naught e naught get cancelled remaining as it is k naught mu 2 minus k2 mu 1 divided by k naught mu 2 plus k2 mu 1 this is equation number 21 all this term because e2 numerator e2 and denominator sorry e naught and e naught get cancelled then the fresnel's transmission coefficient is given by t12 is equal to e2 bar divided by e naught and e2 is the that term 2 k naught mu 2 divided by k naught mu 2 plus k2 mu 1 e naught this e naught e naught e naught because in terms e2 e naught will be uh, e naught and that e naught will be cancelled remaining 2 k naught mu 2 divided by k naught mu 2 plus k2 mu 1 this is equation number 22 these are the complete description or complete points of that is a reflection refraction of electromagnetic wave in plane boundaries okay in we have that point we have to divide in three lectures in next video we will discuss the next point thank you